a magic trick with services. <laughs> yeah, dude. Let me see this. Whoa, that's so cool. How's it not falling? It has to do with adhesive and cohesive forces. Hmm. So adhesion is the forces between the water and the wire. And that's what makes the water stick. The cohesion is the forces between the same type of material. So in this case, the water sticks to itself, which creates um, the kind of little bubbles you see in between each wire square. Oh man, that's so neat. So it creates a little membrane all around the bottom so the water doesn't leak out. Can I touch it? <laughs> no, not yet. So in order to see surface tension work, we know the given value for surface tension of water is 0 0.073. So we want to know the force that the water is applying to create that surface tension. In order to do that, we had to calculate the length of the wire. And we did a little special fancy geometry and figured out that if we would extend the length of the entire wire in that area, it would equal 2.708 meters. And if you multiply those two together, it gets your force, which per each millimeter square is 0.197 newtons. And there is 250 little one millimeter squares, and that force uh, the total force on that area is equal to 53.37 newtons. Whoa, that's so cool. So, can I hold it now? Sure. Sweet. Whoa, what happened? Well, for that, to explain that, I have to explain the hydrostatic equation. So, we come over here, look at the hydrostatic equation. Force equals pressure times area, or gamma times height times the area. The height from where the water is is 0.178 meters. So in our area of where the water is spilling out of, it's 0 0.00255 meters squared. So the height, the force equals gamma 9810 times height 0.178 times 0 0.00255 gives us 4.453 newtons. Well, when you tilt it, say we tilt it at a 45 degree angle, our new equation has to include sine 45. So 9,810 times the area times sine 45 times the height gives us 3.1486 newtons, which is smaller than the original force. Therefore, the water leaks out and the air replaces it. Wow, that's so cool. Nice. Just like that. And there we have it, surface tension and pressure change.